Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be reacting to Time and Lemon. This is my second react, so hopefully it goes well, fingers crossed and everything. I wanted to take a look at her most recent vlog. It's about her going to the store, P.O. Box and whatnot, but I really am interested in what is in her fridge because what's in your fridge can really reflect on your overall mindset and your general health, generally. Because what's in your fridge is typically what you're eating, right? So, um, hey, if your fridge is organized, filled with fruits, veggies, lean meats, if you're a meat eater, then that really typically reflects a lot on your health. So what can I say? What is in Tammy Lemon's fridge? Well, at this point in time, I have no idea, but I am definitely going to find out because I really want to know. And overall, uh, they're <laughs> there. Uh, you should typically have certain items in your fridge, you know, lots of fruits, lots of veggies and whatnot. Lots of things that will keep you nice and healthy. As they say, um, if you have, you know, vegetables, fresh veggies, lean meats, fruit and other things that come without packaging, because, you know, the whole preservative thing uh it's good for you vegetables you eat fresh vegetables you get the full benefits of their vitamins and minerals green beans kale bell peppers and many other vegetables pack a lot of fiber antioxidants and nutrients then we got um dairy reduced fat or low fat yogurt cheese sour cream and milk have fewer calories you gotta watch for sugar in like stuff like flavored yogurt Non-dairy milk from almonds, oats, soy, and other sources often are lower in sugar, fats, and carbs than cow's milk. Then, if you're a meat eater and or seafood eater, uh, lean cuts of meat like loin, tenderloin, and sirloin, or trim the fat before cooking, etc., etc., etc. For fruit, fruit is good for you. Fresh fruit, really good for you. And better than the canned versions with added sugars, just watch for sweet, high-carb choices like mangoes, cherries, and grapes. Lower sugar fruits include avocados, blackberries, kiwis, and raspberries, etc, etc, etc. So let me find out what exactly is in Tammy Lemon's fridge. So let's go. Hello, Lemfem. So I had to empty out my fridge a little bit because I recently did a grocery haul and I have lots and lots of new veggies. Mm -hmm. And so cool. there were some veggies that really had seen their best time. I had some of these, well, you can see it. It's pretty much, well, it's not super dead. Well, it's a green pepper. I mean, uh, looking from what I'm seeing, her fridge seems pretty organized. Uh, it's, just, it's just that she is uh, sane and that she went grocery shopping when she already has a few items in her fridge which makes me think uh maybe not that organized and remember what I've, I've said that your fridge is very reflective of you know how healthy you're eating for the most part right there's always going to be exceptions and whatnot um but uh from what i see um you could do a lot with a green pepper green pepper i think i saw cucumber there you could always make a a saute you could always do a lot of things a lot of combinations like you could do a cucumber pepper salad that's one thing you could do you could uh, I, I believe I saw broccoli there as well you could do sauteed broccoli with um, red peppers or green peppers depending on what she has but it's a little bit wonky and so I had uh, four of these and I had them laying around and I was like I really have to use them up I don't want to have to throw them away I also really need to use this meat it's upside down because it has meat. been opened I cool. taste it who I tasted a piece uh, it's some salami it's good until let's see I think the date was pretty good Another thing, broccoli and salami, pasta salad. You can always make something with anything. Even in fact, there are apps out there, a few apps where you put in, you can certain um, items that you have in your fridge, and that app will tell you exactly what you can make from those items. So that's always a good thing to have and to know about. Um, I can go on and on and on. Uh, once again, lots of sautés that she can have. She can even do garlicky salami and broccoli pasta salad. 
like I've said. Maybe I should put it in a Ziploc bag. It's like, yeah, the 22nd of April, so that's okay. Mm -hmm. I still want to make some pizza from scratch. We ate okay. pizza when my nephew was here. I have to be honest, it wasn't really... Mm, I would not call it pizza. So I'm still planning on oh. making pizza from scratch. It has been a while. I sometimes like to do it. And you know, when you make, come on. Also, when you make pizza from scratch, I don't really, you know, you cannot really compare it with just ordering pizza or buying it at the store. So it is pizza, uh -huh. but then, you know, it, it's good. Well, I wonder what happened with their pizza from scratch because I've done pizza from scratch and if you don't have the dough prepared for you, it's actually very tricky because there is a process and you can't just do this process in an hour. It actually takes, uh, I think, about two days if you're really doing everything from scratch because you you got to um, do certain things with the dough that you wouldn't uh, normally consider that you need to do. Like you got to deal with the yeast and all sorts of things. So maybe that's why it didn't really work out for her. But looking at our fridge, once again, we got some cucumbers. That might be chicken right there. We got some oranges. We got some little mini tomatoes in there. We also got some broccoli and whatnot. And what seems to be Brussels sprouts. I believe I did see some Brussels sprouts there, if I'm not mistaken. But um, a whole lot of stuff that could give me, myself, a whole lot of meals. I mean, it's um, she's trying. She's doing her best. It's not like we see uh <laughs> pizza boxes in there and burgers and whatnot so that's a good thing it is pizza but then you know it, it's good you know i don't really compare it to like pizza that you buy um, in the store or whatever i olives. have some of these proteins products left i tasted one of like the mousses the chocolate mousse with caramel salt it was pretty good and then this morning i had one of the protein thingies with chocolate milk also pretty good so far i do like it i have tasted like a little tiny sip of this one Ooh. and yeah some other random items that i have in my fridge but it looks pretty good now the only thing that i have to get rid of is the iceberg lettuce and this thing because i do have a new cucumber but you know i will just eat this as is i also had a piece yesterday so that's not cool. a problem however iceberg lettuce i will have to see what i can eat it with and also i really have to um eat those things because i do have some apples in here well that's okay. that's a lemon but i do have some apples that are also pretty much dead do you hear that sound i hear it. that's my fridge telling me to close it so this is what my fridge looks like i feel on top of everything that's in she could always do the oranges with the apples that's another good thing i mean there is a wide range and assortment of things i saw eggs in there i saw all types of uh butter um we got the olives once again we got like the little mini tomatoes there's lots of salad she can use with this if she wants to eat the cucumbers as is, she go ahead, do your thing. There, and um, yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, come on. Unorganized. Quiet. Which is what I like. Also, I really want to buy myself some of these things. I read someone that said, yeah, well, I had some on my fridge and they scratched all over my fridge. So I would love to have some more of these. Or maybe I can make sort of like a protection for them myself to just put over the magnet. Because as you can see, this one's not going to scratch because, you know, there's just some fabric on the back side of it. So all right, all right, I'm gonna end it right here. I think uh, this is the segment I really wanted to go over because once again, um, your fridge can really reflect uh, your mindset, just like uh, how they say about rooms. Your, a room can reflect your mindset. So a cleanly room is what something close to godliness, something like that. But overall, the, the idea is that if you have a clean room, you have a clean mind, right? So the same thing with the fridge, um, it can reflect your mindset a lot of times. So if you're very um, organized, then that can tell me a lot about uh your your health your overall general health and exactly what you're eating versus what you're not eating etc 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 uh kudos for tammy lemon she seems pretty organized except that one little thing about not knowing exactly what is in her fridge when she restocked but then again a lot of us don't know exactly what's in our fridge when we're going to the the supermarket so i can't really fault her for that uh so good job and everything um hey Tell me if you like this react or not. Tell me what I can improve on. This is my second react from Tam Lemon and overall in the capacity of a personal trainer. So if you like this stuff, then catch me 
for more. If not, tell me what you what I can improve on and I will do my best. Other than that, I'd like to thank everybody for joining me. I mean, we're gonna definitely do more of these. Smash the like button, leave me a comment, subscribe, and I will talk to all you lovely, amazing people later. All right, take care. Have a good one.